Hello Internet. So in today's video, I'm going to be synchronizing my motorcycle's two throttle bodies with a homemade uh, synchronizing tool or a, I'm not sure what the correct scientific name or the industry name for this is, but it's a throttle body synchronizer tool. So let's get to work. Well, so let's see the tool that I've made, the synchronizing tool for the throttle bodies or the manometer or manometer, whichever way you say it or what you want to call it. So basically all I've done is I've taken a piece of wood. In my case, this was a piece of pallet wood reclaimed. It, I've only painted it a bit of a lighter color so that you can clearly see the difference between the liquid inside, the little tube or pipe here. This is a normal see-through uh, PVC pipe or any type of see-through pipe that you can get obviously the right size of the pipe to fit over the nipples of your throttle body so that they can seal off tightly I've used some tacks just to mount it to the board and then every five centimeters or about two inches I just drew a line so that you can clearly see the difference in the line and uh, see how it changes in in height uh, for, compared to each other, so to just give you some reference, um, and that's basically it. It's, it's one pipe at the bottom, it loops, and at the top, I've only drilled some holes uh, to the pipe goes through the to the back and back to the front, it's just so that it's being kept in place. And then it's a pretty long one. I I used about ten meters, and how much is that? That's about oof, three, uh, probably thirty feet more or less uh, I'm not that good with the conversions here but yeah you get the idea and then in the pipe in the pipe I've put um, ATF or automatic transmission fluid um, because it's obviously it's dyed it's a color and it's also got a good viscosity for uh, the purpose that we're going to use it for to give a more of a stable reading so that's basically it. it's fairly simple it's basically a vacuum device so it's got two ends, obviously, for the two uh, throttle bodies that I'm going to synchronize. Um, in the case where you've got four throttle bodies or four carburetors, you can obviously um, make use of some T-junctions at the bottom and just make it four pipes. Um, and that would work exactly the same, just as well. So I'm going to simply take this, I'm going to mount it in my vise, um, just so that it's mounted somewhere steady and a bit higher off the ground so that I can get a clear view as I'm adjusting the throttle bodies. So let me go and mount this and we'll get started on the synchronizing. Okay, so on the one bank or on the one throttle body, at the bottom there will be a blank off like this. Usually it's a piece of rubber, but in my case the rubber was damaged by now, so it's a pipe with a bolt into it to blank it off. And then on the same nipple at the bottom, which is right over there, I'm going to put the one end of the monitor or of the manometer or the synchronizer, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put that on there. Now beforehand, the screw over here, that is the idle control screw. So we're going to set both sides the same just to get a baseline and just so that we know how to adjust it. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screwdriver, I'm going to fully seat this one up to there and then unscrew it or loosen it one and a half turns. So that would be one and a half turns. And then I'm going to do the same, the connect the other end of the of the the synchronizer pipe um, of our tool, and I'm going to adjust the other side uh I'll link on screw as well and then what else needs to be done here is in the front the throttle cable basically which is at the back here on top uh, let's see if I can get a better view there just move the camera a bit come to this side Last bit at the back to let me move the camera a bit more. There we go, now I've got a clear view right over there. Now the nut at the bottom, that would be a 10 millimeter nut, so I'm going to take a 10 millimeter wrench and just loosen that one. If it's loosened, I'm going to 
unscrew it with my fingers so this is adjustable and then you want to feel the throttle cable it has to have a five millimeter free play now this one is a bit on the tight side so this one i'll probably have to screw in a slight bit like so so that it's got a bit of a, a bit more free play it doesn't have yet screw it in a bit more very important so that the nut at the bottom is loose enough so that you can adjust this there we go that's about enough free play for this one and now I'm going to do the same on the other side as well so both throttle bodies is the same and once that is done then we'll start the testing and synchronizing okay so the first adjustment that I've done was on the throttle cables on the two throttle bodies which would be the ones at the back over there uh, the same as the one on the other side now the way I did this was firstly I would switch on the motorcycle the temperature would be at working temperature like you can see there it would not be too cold it's not probably too hot obviously I do have a fan over there on the engine so that um, it doesn't overheat or get too hot while I'm adjusting so it's starting um, on the meter or the, the synchronizer or manometer or whatever you want to call it the idea is I'm now going to take the up to about 3000 RPM, right about there, and ideally, if it's about, get it steady, if it's about 3000 RPM, you see that it's leveled out to the right now. So, after the revolution part was done and it's more or less synchronized, thereafter, time for the two idling adjustment screws the ones over here once again on both sides so uh, with the screwdriver like I set them both on a level playing ground in the beginning uh, equaled them out going to once again start the motorcycle now and at idling you'll see also that it's more or less level it's a very fine tune it's just slap it up slap it down but it's more or less synchronized with each other right now take it out of the garage I'm going to go for a ride and see what it feels like now but that is fairly it it's a fairly simple process a bit of fine-tuning is necessary obviously um, it does take a bit of time but this is very cheap I mean this cost me almost nothing to make um, it's a piece of wood that was laying around some tacks a piece of pipe and some a little bit of uh, automatic transmission fluid so if you like this idea and you like the project that I was busy with here and you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. So, until we see you next time, bye bye.